An Analysis of Harriet Jacobs' Narrative. This lesson will be best understood if viewed after actually having read Harriet Jacobs' Narrative. Harriet Jacobs originally published the story using the pseudonym Linda Brent. Sadly, sexual abuse was very common during slavery. It was considered something of an open secret, something that was not spoken of publicly but was generally understood to be occurring. Many of the victims of sexual abuse felt a sense of shame after being forced into these relationships which violated their own sense of propriety in terms of sex. As, Jacob, as Jacobs notes, sexual abuse in slavery often led to siblings who could not ultimately acknowledge each other. Note that Jacobs makes multiple calls for Northerners of good conscience to do something. She uses many tactics, even warning, warning that if they allow their daughters to marry slaveholders, they will be cheated on and treated to a life of misery like Mrs. Flint. Note the position of Southern white women as described within her narrative. These women demonstrate power over the slave women in the household, but this is often to make up for their anger over their husbands' adulterous and immoral sexual acts towards these slaves. Finally, notice Dr. Flint's use of psychological games. He often acts as if he's acting as her protector, not her abuser. There have been some questions of authenticity with this narrative. There was some suspicion at the time that this narrative was written by a white northern abolitionist. This is partly due to the writing style, but also the descriptions of her avoiding sexual abuse. It fits greatly with the female romantic literature of the time, which were psychological seduction tales, but isn't representative of most slaves' experiences. Quite simply, most slaveholders would not play games or seduce, but merely rape by force and fear. It's also a bit unrealistic that Jacobs would have an affair with a white unmarried man in town and have had a child by him. That would have been extremely dangerous for the white unmarried man, potentially deadly. In addition, her supposed seven years of hiding in a shed are questionable. However, there is enough clear evidence to prove that Harriet Jacobs did exist and did in fact escape from slavery, but some of the details are not as clearly true. In addition, it is not fully clear if she indeed wrote this herself. It's quite likely that she had help in the actual writing of the story. It is a bit odd that she refers to herself as serving Mrs. Bruce in the end. Regardless of the authenticity of detail in this narrative, it was one of the many in its time that had a powerful effect in building the abolitionist movement. This was important in showing the sexual abuse common in slavery, even if the narrator didn't actually experience its harshest elements. In addition, this text clearly shows how slavery corrupts people's minds and hearts.